Welcome back guys to another video of Iron Gaming OG. Today we are going to talk about how Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has already broken another record, although being con controversial this time around. We will also be talking about how uh, Jim Ryan was able to strike a deal with Microsoft when it comes to Call of Duty. Things are looking good for all PlayStation owners. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's get it! So as most of you know, this year Game Freak has chosen to come out with a Pokemon game, Scarlet and Violet, that is the first true open world Pokemon game. And um, although fans was long anticipating uh, Pokemon like this, it has been plagued with a lot of game breaking bugs, slowdowns, screen tearings, etc. So persons was wondering how well this game would actually sell when it was when it is released well some early reports has come in from the uk and they are looking very good for this game let's see what uh, bill says about it pokemon scarlet and violet sold more boxed copies in the uk during launch than any other game this year that's according to GFK sales figures reported by GamesIndustry.biz which suggest that the game sold more physical copies in its opening weekend than any other game has in the UK during 2022. The previous highest was FIFA 23, but Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's sales were reportedly up 4% compared to EA's football game, despite being on a single format. The only Pokemon game that sold more physical copies in its first weekend in the UK was Pokemon Sun and Moon in 2016, which was released four months out for the launch of the hugely popular mobile game Pokemon Go. According to GFK, Pokemon Violet sold the most copies with 52% of total sales, while Pokemon Scarlet sold 42%. The remaining 6% of sales were a double pack containing both games. The sales figures are reportedly 56% higher than those of Pokemon Legends, Arceus, which at the time was the UK's fourth biggest Pokemon launch ever. Now isn't that amazing? Um, I thought because of all the, uh, you know, bad press these Pokemon games was getting that it would, the sales would have tanked eventually, but uh, I, I guess the wider public um, was not considering this um, controversy and they went out and purchased this game now there are two things could happen here um, game freak could see the success of this and do not do anything to change or they can take the opportunity and uh, try their best for the next iteration of pokemon not to have any of these issues maybe by demanding that uh, that Nintendo release better hardware to port this $115 billion franchise. So what do you guys think? This is good news for Game Freak and Nintendo. Let me know in the comment sections below. Now let's talk Call of Duty. For months, Jim Ryan, the head of uh, PlayStation, has been going from country to country, appealing to regulations, crying to regulators about um, you know, it is unfair to, for Microsoft to have Call of Duty exclusive to their platform. Although Phil would have said numerous times that he is not going to take uh, Call of Duty out uh, off of the PlayStation console, Jim Ryan have been crying and whining all through social media about this deal. Well, it appears that Phil has thrown Jim Ryan and all these PlayStation fans a bone um, giving them uh, Call of Duty for a decade, yes, for 10 years, guaranteed Call of Duty would be coming out on the PlayStation platform. Let's see what it says. Bill?
so what do you guys think about that um i mean i don't think the length of time call of duty being on a playstation platform is a problem what microsoft has to worry about is call of duty going on game pass if call of duty goes on game pass then it's a gg for sony well let me know what you think about this don't forget to leave some comments below like and subscribe for more videos later